Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Uh, today, I've got something that has had a ton of recommendations to do. I've done a handful of these Cedar Creek models, but every time I do one, people are asking for the 40 C bar. So this is a destination RV, and it has a built-in bar into it, and it is a pretty cool floor plan, one that I think you guys are gonna really love. As you can see, it's a little bit of a tight fit here at the dealership today. Uh, so I'm gonna show you the manufacturer sticker and then kind of walk around the outside real fast, head right on inside. But as you can see, it is not light, weighs just under 11,000 pounds with an overall GVWR of 14,000 pounds. So this thing can hold a ton of weight and it can get, you know, really heavy. But I love the cottage lineup. They did a lot of additions for the 2023. They completely reworked the interior. So now it is, you know, light and bright, kind of getting with the modern times. And if you guys haven't seen one, I think this video will definitely be a treat for you. Um, also, I am in a sales position here at RV Nation in Ohio. Uh, so if you guys are in the market, you'll find my text line and my email down in the description. But if you guys would be so kind, if you guys find value in this video, if you guys could hit that like and subscribe button for me, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. But again, it's the 2023 Cottage 40 C bar. And, you know, obviously the C bar standing for, you know, this bar area. So this is an awesome setup, you know, traditionally made for more of a couple's coach. Uh, but it has this really nice little bar area. So if you guys want to have some people over and entertain, you have plenty of room. Uh, I mean, check this out. So the flooring is different. The island completely changed. You have a flip up kind of little uh, bar top right there, a hidden pantry behind the TV and the fireplace, uh, but really, really great brand. I'm loving it. The change is light and bright. It used to be kind of those darker tones, nothing wrong with it, but that's just not where the industry is heading. Uh, but one thing you are going to notice is really tall, high, wide, deep slides. So I am six feet tall for reference. So I put this slide probably somewhere around like six foot eight, you know, something around there. Uh, but you get these huge open windows, you know, which are just really nice to have at your campground if you guys have a really nice view or something like that. So this is going to be kind of your, your seating slide. So you get your four top dinette. You also have a little part that can kick out uh, right up here, which is probably latched in. Detach that. You just pull that out, you know, and lift it up uh, and you're good to go. Kind of a little extension of the table. And I'll put that away. Uh, but really nice. Sit down, have some breakfast, maybe play some cards. You're also going to see, look how massive these windows are, all of which are tinted. And at the bottom, they do have a little part that slides open, so that way you can get a really nice cross breeze. They also all come with your day shades and your night shades. They change the balances up here for the 2023, kind of that gold speckle look inside the white box to, max, uh, to match up, you know, with all the rest of the trim on the camper. You're also going to notice... There is accent lighting above each one of the slides and also down below the island. So I think you get a really nice ambient glow, you know, maybe at night when you don't want some of this harsh light on and you're just kind of getting a snack from the refrigerator, you know, something of that nature. You got a little clicker light right here. You also get uh, a couple USB outlets. So you have a, a USB and a universal C charger right there. You also have some controls for your lights again. These bottom parts do slide open so you can get a nice breeze. You have your power recliners, your Thomas Payne, so very comfortable, well-respected RV brand. And right here is where you control that. So you have your extend and you have your retract. You also get a USB charger on each one of those. So you have one here and one there. You also have a couple cup holders and a little place for some storage. Uh, but these are the going to be the kind of the quick recline. So if you would like, you're more than welcome to sleep there. I know a lot of people prefer, you know, kind of the recliner setup. And I do like how it is directly across from your entertainment center. So right there you have a TV. So a really great place to kick back, relax, you know, maybe watch a movie. All right. So we got that. You swing it around the back. Right now I have the plastic. Uh, this just came in from the factory not that long ago. So the plastic's still on the windows. Sort of use it like a rock guard when you're driving down the road, since obviously this has huge 
open bay windows. And if anything's going to happen to any of the windows, it's going to be those, you know, while you're kind of kicking up rocks driving through. So we keep that plastic cover on through the duration of you picking up, you know, even through the prep and the clean, all that good stuff until you get to your final destination. Uh, but the nice thing about these is, again, they all open up for a nice cross breeze. They obviously let in a lot of natural light. They all come with the day and the night shades as well. So you can let in a little bit of sun, you know, or no sun, if that's kind of your flavor. You get a little countertop right here, along with an outlet. And then behind the couch, that's where we store uh, the screen, which is going to be for your sliding door. This couch is also a tri-fold, so it'll pull out to make, you know, a queen-size bed that'll come up and butt almost up against that island. Uh, so that way you can sleep an additional couple people, you know, probably, um, you know, one to two adults or maybe a, you know, handful of kids, you know, something of that nature. Right over here, this is also an emergency exit window. So all you got to do is pull those little red pins and push it out. And you guys can get out in a hurry if you need. Over here, you have your other slide. This is kind of the cooking slide and the entertainment slide. Again, really nice height. And what that allows you to do is get a little bit of additional storage, a residential refrigerator. And then this is new to the 2023s. You have your Murphy Pantry is what they're calling it. So right here, you got your TV. It's an insignia, well-known brand, great TV to have. You also get your electric fireplace, even though it's a little bit smaller than some of the past, past models in looks, it still has the same output. So 5,500 BTUs of heat comes with a couple different modes. You know, you can change the, um, it goes up to 100 degrees first off, so it'll heat up, you know, this entire area, you know, no problem. On a day like today where it's 50 degrees out, 55 degrees out, uh, that right there could smoke you out of this camper if you wanted to. I mean, it's got some serious heat to it. But also it's got a couple different color modes. You have an orange, a white, a blue, and a red. Uh, so you can kind of change the decor as you want. A little shelf right here, you know, maybe for a controller, maybe some decorative, uh, you know, things. I don't know. You got a little safety latch because when you open this up, check this out. You guys are going to like this. Really nice hidden pantry. You got a little bit of storage here on the back end that has a little lip. You know, maybe put some reading material or, you know, some food or something that you want to store away. And then back here, let me turn on this light, you get a lot of storage. And again, it does have a lip, so you don't have to worry about things rolling out and rattling back here, you know, while you're traveling. You have an outlet right there and your cable hookups right down there. You also get another outlet. And then right under here, oh, it's drilled in, but there is some access to some of your maintenance items. So pretty cool way to kind of sneak some storage. And that's where that height of that slide, you know, really comes into play. And then, of course, when you're driving down the road, you just want to make sure that's latched so things aren't kind of flying around for you. Uh, I did forget to point out, you do have a fan right here. And then you also have your AC, which does have dump valves on the side. So if you're sitting right down here watching a movie, you know, you can open that up so it cools down this area a little bit uh, quicker. That TV is also on a swivel. So maybe if you're laying down on the couch... You know, your head's right there. You can kind of angle it toward you, for, towards you for a little bit of a better viewing angle. Change the backsplash for the 2023. So looking pretty fancy, looking pretty snazzy. You also get outlet and outlet. Solid surface countertops. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. You get the Greystone oven, one of the two largest ovens in the entire RV industry. So you get your four stovetop burners. So you got Thanksgiving coming up. You know, you can have four different sides all cooking. And then also that oven is pretty darn impressive. You can fit in a full-size turkey, you know, no problem. And have uh, Thanksgiving on the road there with you. You know, at your campground or, you know, whatever it is that you're going. Both left and right are going to have similar storage. So I'll show you this side. Little pull-out drawer. And then you have some good storage, a little shelf in there. Got the microwave. Let me go ahead and get that opened up. Nothing too much to talk about there, but a really nice size microwave. It's your LG, so a nice brand again. And then you have storage all up and around. Again, the right side will be the same as the left. And then up above, and you notice how it holds itself up, you know, on its own, which is always nice. 
You don't have to worry about it slamming down. Okay. So we bring it around. Let me get this opened up. Really screw it in there for safety. All right. And this is the LG refrigerator. So this is one of the larger ones. Uh, it's definitely nicer than the one that I have at my house. Uh, but, you know, it's nice to have this on a destination RV, something that you're going to use maybe as a part-time home, you know, at the lake or, you know, at your campground. And then in the freezer, you're going to get a pull-out drawer. And then if I can get the camera down there, got yourself a little ice maker. And then you have another kind of lower compartment, you know, maybe put some of your more... Uh, like some steaks or burgers or, you know, something like that. All right. This also, this unit does have a pretty nice island and they reworked the, the way that it looks. So you get the solid surface countertops. It's a little bit wider. They thinned out the bottom, which I enjoy, and added in, you know, some accent lighting. Uh, but one thing that is pretty interesting that they did was they added this flip top up. So it's held in by magnets and you can see there's the little legs right there you can kick out to hold up but just a little bit of it. Ah. So I ran out of storage on my phone, had to delete a couple videos, had too many loaded up, uh, but I think I was right here where the bar is. But basically, you take your hand right there, you lift up, held in by magnets, and you have yourself a little topper, you know, maybe a little breakfast nook, set up some bars, or I mean some bar stools, have some breakfast, maybe a little drink or appetizer bar, something to entertain. But they got these little legs right here, uh, so that way you can kick them out and kind of hold it up so it's sitting there just like that. So really nice feature to have. And then, let's see here. I'm not sure exactly what I covered, but I'm gonna keep going around on this. Hopefully I don't repeat anything. If I do, I apologize. They hired me because I'm friendly. So right over here, you do get another USB and universal C charger. So that's always a plus, plugging in your devices. They bounced off the accent right here to kind of match up with the rest of the decor. Looks pretty nice. And then this right here is going to be your access to your central vac. So you can plug in a hose uh, right there and put up, you know, so you can kind of sweep up this area, sucks it all into the central vac, which is going to be found right in here, which I'll show you in a moment. But again, solid surface countertops, double undermounted stainless steel bowls. Uh, so really nice places to kind of do your dishes along with a high rise faucet where you can hit your dishes from all angles. Right inside here, they went ahead and um, rolled these up, but these are gonna be your, why am I blanking? Uh, a drying rack, so you can lay it out, you know, dry some of your dishes. Now you do have an option to put a dishwasher in. Not many people are ordering it that way, so we got it with the extra storage, but there's gonna be four of these drawers uh, that are all gonna be looking, you know, just like that. But the dishwasher is available in case you're curious, and if you noticed, these are gonna be soft clothes. Now underneath here, let me switch hands on the camera. Underneath here, you get yourself a little uh, garbage can, access to your plumbing, and a little bit of storage. It's all kind of um, it's all kind of built in, looking sharp, looking nice. Something that you get in a little bit of a higher end, you know, destination RV, just like this. But that's going to be your road vac. You got your power button right there. But essentially, that's what turns on and gives you kind of the power uh, to clean with the hose port that I was just showing you. All right, so now let's get to the bar, give you another little look kind of right up here. Since this is the 2020 340C bar, I know you guys are all probably long awaiting to see that. And if you guys have made it this far, I appreciate you. And if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, I am trying to get to 10,000 by the end of the year. Looks like I'm going to be able to hit it. Just need a little bit more help. You know, and I'd greatly appreciate uh, you, know, you if you did that, if you guys uh, like the video. Little fantastic fan right here to kind of keep the air flowing. Maybe get some of the, you know, if you're maybe you're cooking over here on the oven or something, helps kind of get some of the things out of here. Uh, but you get a stove top, or not stove top, geez, oh, Pete's. You get a bar top right here, solid surface. Kind of darker accent on the wall. Some accent lighting there underneath with the LED strip. But check out this bar area. I mean, this is cool. This separates this RV from the rest. This is kind of where your wow factor comes from. You get a little mini fridge right there, you know, with plenty of shelves. You also have a lot of storage. 
you get a little working sink right there. Uh, and I like how they made it a little bit tiny. So it's meant for more of a bar sink. Again, the solid surface countertops right here. This is going to be your control center, you know, for the camper. Um, so your slides, awning, all your different lights, your tank heater, water pump, all that good stuff. Plus you can check the levels of all your tanks. So, you know, fresh tank, black tank, gray one, gray two, and battery. You know, all that in one handy dandy space. A couple outlets, and then you have more outlets right over here along with your Wi-Fi extender. So if you're at the campground, you know, you can pull some Wi-Fi from a little bit further. You're also going to see you have a nice, nice size TV for entertaining. And right over here on the left and the right, you get some wine racks. A little storage. And then up above, you get some real good storage. Maybe like a little liquor cabinet or, you know, something like that. But pretty cool setup. And then they also put in a nice little window here. Again, hopefully you have a nice um, nice view. That opens up for a good little cross breeze, day shade, and the night shade to get your Dracula on. You get another outlet right over here. This switch controls your fan. And then another place where you can plug in your USB and your Universal C chargers. All right, now for entertaining, that's your bar top, obviously. Right underneath, you can put all your fix-ins, you know, your mixers or drinks or whatever it is that you're using. Uh, for right there. So, you know, maybe if it is coming up for Turkey Day, you can lay out all your appetizers and your stuff right there and people can come here, grab drinks, kick back, have some fun and still be out and about kind of with the family while you're doing your thing. So a really nice setup and one that is, you know, it's obviously selling well. We had a ton of people asking for this video and I hope you guys are, I uh, hope you guys like it. Hope it's living up to the expectations. Little pullout drawer here. And a pull out right there. Again, the soft close. Underneath the sink, you have some access to your plumbing, an outlet, and then plenty of storage. This is going to be your sliding glass door. Not too much to go into there, uh, but that's where that screen was behind that couch. That would be for the sliding glass door right here. You also have your fire extinguisher and then some stairs, obviously, you know, to kind of get in and out. This is going to be the control for your Max Air vent, which was just above that bar top. This is your RV Comfort uh, .zc. That's the name of that, I suppose. But that's going to be for Zone 1 and Zone 2, so that way you can kind of keep everything heat and cool. You know, that's going to be your thermostat. Brings you into the bathroom. Don't worry about that pink stuff. That's just antifreeze for the winterization. Uh, if you were to purchase, obviously, that would get nice and cleaned up for you. But you get some accent lighting, some pretty good kind of moving space. Uh, you do have a toilet right here, which is the old porcelain throne. You get some storage with a bunch of these little cubbies for all your towels and maybe some stowaway items. A couple little octopus hangers. And then this door has your toilet paper holder. Max Eric vent for in here, which is going to be directly above me. And hello. Got a little medicine cabinet. Couple outlets there to your left, along with all your switches. This is going to be your sink, and it's angled so that way it doesn't splash up on you. And then underneath, you get a lot of good storage and access to your plumbing, kind of all in one, which is always nice. And then for the shower, they use the Tri-Glide Glass Series. So there's going to be three panes of glass right here. Just allows you to open it up a little bit more, so that way you save a little bit more of the room to kind of get in and out. Uh, but a good size shower, you got a place to sit down, you know, relax, let the hot water hit you, maybe shave your legs, you know, something like that. Uh, but this is actually pretty cool too. So this is going to be a change for the 2023 you're going to have four areas that water can come out. You got this right here. You got your removable kind of head nozzle. And then you got those two. So pretty cool. And that brings you into the bedroom, which has tons of space, really large bedroom. You get your king bed. There is an option for a queen if you would rather. 
On both the left and right side of the bed, you have an outlet here and an outlet there. Looks like I didn't turn on one of the clicker lights, but you do get two along with two windows. Both open up again for a nice cross breeze. And both sides as well are going to have, you know, the USB and Universal C chargers. You also get another Universal C charger right up here in the middle of, you know, the two storage areas. Both left and right will have that big old open area for some good old storage. And that's part of that slide height. You have a fan up on the ceiling. You got your AC up there again with the dump valve. So if you want this room to get cool, you know, in a quick, uh, in the quickness, you can. Cadet wall heater. This is an option. So if you guys want some additional electric heat, uh, you can order that. Runs you about two hundred and seventy-five bucks. It's an option, well, uh, well used. If you get free electric at the campgrounds, so you don't have to turn on you know, your propane between this and your electric fireplace, you can really get down to some cool weather before you even turn that in. Lights for the bedroom, power for the fan. Underneath, you got lots of good storage as well. Big open window, again with the day and night shades and an access to open that up for a good old breeze. You also have a grab handle. And then you have a dresser, and right here, they left the sticker on for now, uh, but you can lift that up, maybe put some of the stuff that you want kind of off the beaten path, you know, where people don't know that you have access to. Maybe some jewelry or, you know, like a gun or something of that nature. Uh, but you got kind of that little hideaway storage. You also have four of these dressers, dresser drawers. Right up here, you got yourself a little TV. And then, as you can see, there is a ton of storage here on the back. So this right here, your closet, you got the little pieces up here where you can kind of organize your hanging clothes. Plenty of room there. And then up above, that's what you get. And then you can put a fully stackable washer and dryer. We didn't order with that. We wanted to be kind of optional for you. But if you don't get it, obviously, it's just a big old massive closet for you. You know, with, uh, again, some more room for some hanging items. You do have the plugins for the dryer, the washer, the, dr the vent location, and then your access to your hot and cold water. But that about wraps it up here for the inside portion of the store. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Uh, this is the 2023 Cottage 40 C Bar. And now I'm going to go around the outside, you know, kind of show you some things, um, kind of where things are located. I'll give you another little look around here first. Again, you got the hidden pantry right behind here. The pull-out sofa out the back. Yeah, pretty slick setup. I do love the bar. All right, so since it is a tight fit, as you can see, I don't have too much room to go that way, uh, so I'm going to go out the back. But this camper is eligible for slide topper. Slide topper is basically just an awning. That goes from there to there and protects any type of debris, you know, from getting on there. And then when you close it up, you know, it'll actually, um, you know, get on there and puncture that seal. Actually, let me go ahead and close it up since I don't have too much room. I'll show you what it looks like closed up. Bedroom slide goes in first and then these two come in. I'm running off the jump box. That's why you see, you know, the lights are getting a little dim on you. It's just from that jump box getting a little bit low. If you guys want to, you guys can go ahead and skip ahead. I'll put a little chapter in there so it kind of shows you, um, so you can kind of skip forward here this 45 seconds or so.
All right, so this is what you're looking like when you're closed up. So you still have access to the bar. So if you're traveling, you know, you can get yourself a little snack while you're driving. Only supposed to pull these about once or twice a year. But more importantly, you do have access to your bed and you do have access uh, to the bathroom, you know, making life a little bit easier. This is what it looks like closed up. You got your tinted windows. Right here, you're going to have your Furion TV plug in and then your outlet. So that way you can, uh, you know, plug in like a TV or something like that. You're going to notice under the awning, you do have the LED strip. Little access for some of your maintenance items for your slides. That's gonna be your hot water heater. And as you can see, it is a big one. Now this is gonna be where your sewer outlet connection is for your back black tank and your bath tank. So that's gonna be, you know, both right there along with your low point drain is gonna be under here as well. You got your black tank flush, which is essentially just a sprinkler system there, um, you know, for your black tank. So it doesn't let TP or anything like that kind of build up. Your fresh water connection and your city water connection. Kind of more maintenance access right there, and that's gonna be for your pumps. Dual axle. This is where you plug the RV in. So this is your 50 amp connection. All your plug-ins for your living room satellite cable and your bedroom satellite. Your fresh water drain is going to be right there. Your galley tank and then your low point drain. Yeah, I guess there's not too much to show on the outside, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was the 2023 Cottage 40 C-Bar. My name is Hunter. Hope you guys have a lovely day. See ya. Mm-hmm. <laughs>